Papo. Hello, my Gemini friends. It's Guiding Halo here. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Money, finance, and career for the week of the 7th to the 14th of October. Money, finance, and career for my Gemini friends. Please and thank you. I hope you're all doing well. I hope, you know, you have a really awesome reading. Queen of Pentacles, thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So, really being grounded with your money and with whatever's happening for you. Um, the Ace of Wands, Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. Beautiful energy, wow. Being all grounded and then this whole beautiful opportunity comes in, it's gonna change your life and create beauty and warmth and you know, all that wonderful stuff. Let's see what the divine has to say about how you're manifesting. What does the divine have to say about how you're manifesting moving forward? My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. So are you in energy of love? Are you in energy of, oh, I'm so blessed. Oh, I have a beautiful home. I have family that loves me. I can go ahead and be there for the people I love and care about. And, or are you, oh my God, I can't believe I have to get up at eight o'clock in the morning this time. You know, well, <laughs> just saying, we have fortune. Time, everything happens in good time and movement forward. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy, please. Looking at your options. Thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. So there's some sort of confusion surrounding what options you have where finance and career are concerned. Uh, some sort of options and confusion surrounding how you're going to manifest your ships coming in. Perhaps there's a new... I feel like there's an arrival of some sort, but it's not a big 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 arrival but it's a big arrival does that make sense like it's not as big as you thought it would be but there's some sort of needing to control other people's thoughts in a circumstance it's like you want them to feel as you do or think as you do and you're waiting for your ships to come in but i feel there's a very big lesson here about a spiritual journey about what is the truth about life the truth on a grander scale what is the truth is there some sort of manipulation going on behind your back as you're waiting for the ships to come in there will absolutely be a wish granted here i feel the fog is going to lift someone may very well come and give you clarity on a circumstance or situation when you're least expecting it the fog will lift and you'll be able to choose your way forward the lovers this is about contracts Maybe you've been all kind of down in the dumps and confused about which way to head while you're waiting for uh, communication regarding a contract. Well, this is the lovers, and we have the queen of pentacles here. This could be a business owner, someone who takes their finances very seriously. Very seriously. They can make something out of almost nothing and turn it into a wealth of opportunity communication, Sagittarius energy, someone coming in at a fast pace. I believe this is like a, a sudden event, sudden communication that comes in and there's a decision that needs to be made as you move forward. I don't know if you trust this. It, this could be from somebody that you don't usually talk to much or hear about, hear from much. And them coming in to give their two cents worth, you might not feel it's grounded enough energy. But they do have green on the horse here. They're holding their hand. I almost feel as though they may have communication about how you can get the money you need to invest in something or to move a project you have further. Being with the Ace of Wands here, perhaps he's carrying that Ace with him. There's that Six of Swords moving away from rough waters to calm waters. Calm waters. 
leaving a situation that's really been tenable for your your mind lately. It's like a, a as this opportunity comes in, it's very exciting. Career advancement, changing your life. You get to move away from all of the frustrating thoughts. It's, you're not going to expect it. You don't see it coming. The tower. This is something that is at its root, built on a faulty foundation. And the divine comes along and strikes the tower and, like, builds, like, shakes you up. It takes the top off of it. The divine's trying to give you a crown here on something you've built, okay? Now, the problem is, is you've built a square building, and the divine's trying to give you a round crown. So maybe there's some sort of energy of people putting too much value on what the human would build in the physical world, a house, a building, or whatever, when in fact the real value comes in an awakening of what comes through your mind and your soul, being it's a crown for your head, not necessarily a crown for your finances. Does that make sense? Interesting. There is an exciting new opportunity that's going to blow your mind. And I can honestly say I think it's because of something spiritual. It's something that you, you put together with your mind. And wow, look at that. Spiritual, all right. The high priestess. There's an inner knowing within you. Direct connection with the divine here. That they're coming in to tell you something. And you're going to listen to it. You, you can't not help but listen to it. Yeah, ten of cups. Happy family, happy life, happy husband, happy wife. Moving into a very beautiful time of abundance and fulfillment. I wonder if there is a new job opportunity. Tens are about completions. So maybe that has come in and you've had that completion and everybody's happy. And then as you're doing that, there's a job opportunity that comes in. You're sitting there in wait, I believe, though, for this communication about the contract that's going to make you very happy. We have Queen of Wands, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Perhaps somebody is asking for a an investment or something. Show me what you've got. An investment. I don't know. Something about that. A business idea. Something that comes in and changes things in people's lives for the better. This is hard energy though because it's coming clear out of the blue. But it's beautiful too. Nine of Pentacles. Enjoying the little things in life. Someone coming into some money, standing in their own power, successful self-employment, all these types of things. Yeah, needing to make a decision. I think if this is an older person, I feel as though you may be sitting there kind of feeling like your life is kind of done and you're just enjoying the family thing, you know, and whatever. I'm talking about someone 75 or older, you know, and you're just waiting for life to do its thing and you're retired or maybe, you know, and, but you have the world in the palm of your hands and there's things you're very passionate about. All of this red in this card, you see, you're very passionate about these things. So there's, the divine's calling you to kind of leave your comfort zone, make a decision and move into something very, very new, I would say, a, a way to manifest your ships coming in. Something is coming in that you're not seeing, that is for sure. You might very well intuitively be expecting it through your intuition. There's that. Hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So someone's thoughts may be all cray-cray on the down low, eh? Like, you might just have your mind everywhere lately. And choose loving thoughts in circumstances and situations. Don't tell somebody, oh, I don't think that's a good idea when they tell you the beauty of their plans. Don't thwart their dreams. Just because you don't think it could happen doesn't mean that their dreams aren't going to be fulfilled and that divine doesn't have their back. You don't know how the divine works or when the divine's going to work in someone's favor. Not even yours. Mm -hmm. So... The divine will work in your favor as well, but you don't know a lot of times when that's going to happen. Do you? What is true for you? Can you be impeccable with your word? Sure you can, as long as it's not used to manipulate others. The truth can set everyone free. Let go of the results. Let go of your fears and allow the truth to empower you and others. This will set in motion a kind of change that will be supportive of you and loving and all kinds of prosperous. This is not a time to compromise and hide your truth from others. Whatever it is you want, go for it and be clear in your motives, especially with yourself. 
You will be so happy you did. This is a time where you will tap into the power to co-create and manifest your best life. Doesn't that feel amazing and the results miraculous? When you tell the truth and ask the same of others, you can learn a lot from life's beautiful lessons and achieve your dreams. Love you always. I hope this resonates for somebody out there. I hope it helps. I love you guys. Blessings to you.